Hello beautiful souls, welcome to my channel. If you are new here, don't forget to subscribe. Suddenly uncomfortable to stay at my grandfather's house, actually his third new wife's in her daughter's bedroom. One interminable summer with nothing to do, all the meals served cold, even beans and peas. Lacking the words to describe are uh, those poor luminous uh, stories, strange omens in current nights. Seeing the flares of the river barges illuminating Memphis, city of loves and dying splendors. Drifting toward Alexandria, Pharaoh's Rakotis, the Joseph's fertile delta, lands at the beginning of a new time and civilization. Leaving behind 60 miles of unbroken symmetry, Alexander's corpse floating seaward, bobbing milk white in a jar of honey. Memphis shall be waste and desolate without an inhabitant, or so the people dreamed in chains. Many a sun and many a moon, I walked the earth and whistled a tomb. I did not whistle as I worked. The whistle was my work. I shaked nothing I saw and made a rhyme to children at play and hard time. I did not whistle as I worked. The whistle was my work. I shaked nothing I saw and made a rhyme to children at play and hard time. Among the children's daisy faces and in the women's rosy laces, I saw redemption and I smiled. Satanic pillars unbeguiled were swayed by neither girl nor child nor any god of love, yet mild I whistled at my work and song broke out ere long. You will find in her hair a fragrance more severe than camphor, you will find in her dress no hint of a sweet distractedness. You will find in her eyes horn allish and wise, no metaphors of love, but only reflections of books, books, books. Meet me in the long rows between poetry and prose, where we'll win her favor with just and savor the wine of her hair, the shimmery vantones of her rich satin dress. Where we'll press our good deeds upon her, save her from every distress for loving kindness of her matchless eyes and all the sons of her tongues. We were young, once unlearned and unwise, but oh, to be young when love comes disgust. With the whisper of silks and idolatry, and even the childish tongue claims the intimacy of poetry. Last night, while dawn was far away and rain streaked grey, tomb sent skies as thunder bloomed and lightning rayed, I conjured words where passion failed. But oh, that you were mine tonight, sprawled in this bed, held in these arms, your pale baubles in my hands, our bodies bent to old demands. Such passions we might resurrect. If only time and distance wanted and brought us back together, now I pray these things might be somehow. But time has left us twisted, torn, and we are more apart than mice. How have you come to be so far as distant as an unseen star? So that while dawn is far away, my thoughts might not return to you. I feed your portrait to banked flames, but as they feast, I burn for you. Birds and squirrels squabble outside for the last scraps of autumn, remnants of buns, goopy pulps of dill pickles, mucosy lettuce, sesame seeds. Inside the workers all move with the same dress, glamorous lethargy, conserving their energy, one assumes for more pressing endeavors, concerts and proms. The manager, as usual, is on the phone talking to her boyfriend. She gently smiles, brushing back wisp of insouciant hair. Ready for the cover of Glamour or Vogue, 
through her filmy white blouse and indiscreet strap suspends a lace cup through which somehow the still shows. Thanks for watching. Please do subscribe.